Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, AMD's new GPU has a terrible flaw, a full new lineup of desktop GPUs, Intel's 12400 beats the 12900K with this, and Nvidia's next gen cards are getting huge stock. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, it looks like AMD's new 6500 XT could have a huge problem. For those who don't know, according to a listing of the upcoming GPU, it's apparently limited to PCI Express 4.0 times 4 which means the bandwidth will be severely limited when compared to their other 6000 cards. PCI Express 4.0 times 4 is essentially like PCI Express 3.0 times 8 and that had some people worried that it could be bandwidth bottlenecked. Well, in a new video from Hardware Unbox, they actually tested both a 4 and 8 GB 5500 XT, and what they found was pretty scary. As you can see, depending on the game, the 4 GB model saw drastic differences from the 8 GB model because it's having to move things around more often. You can see that in some of these games, the difference between PCI Express 4.0 times 4 and 4.0 times 8 is massive, with even more in PCI Express 3.0 times 4, which means someone using a board that doesn't have PCI Express 4.0 could be in a world of hurt. Now, with all of that said, there is one glimmer of hope. Because the 6500 XT is based on RDNA 2, it uses Infinity Cache, which may mitigate this by quite a bit. Still, this is certainly something to worry about given the 6500 XT is 4GB and only uses PCI Express 4.0 times 4 Let's just say it's not looking good. But first, if you love talking PC hardware and gaming, make sure to join the GamerMail Discord server. It's a place for hardware enthusiasts like yourself to talk about what you love. And it's free, so don't wait any longer and join the Discord for hardware lovers everywhere at discord.gg slash GamerMail. Next up, AMD is apparently set to release a full new lineup of desktop GPUs. For those who don't know, the company recently announced a slew of new mobile cards, the S-Series for slim laptops and the more powerful 50M variants, meaning there are 6850M XT, 6650M XT, and 6650M. Those are based on 6 nanometers, and they come with faster memory as well as faster clocks. Well, it looks like AMD could be doing the same thing to desktop. According to a new post from known leaker Graymon55, AMD is preparing a new version of the RX 6000 series. He's not sure about the details, but he's thinking something like faster 18 gigabit per second memory. AMD could easily make a new 50 series based on 6 nanometers, like the 6850 XT, 6650 XT, etc. Then they could give it higher clocks and faster memory. What's interesting is that while the 6850M XT is only 7% faster than the 6800M, the 6650M XT is a whopping 20% faster than the 6600M. Basically, depending on the models AMD release, these updated GPUs could be a very serious jump in performance. Not like their Ryzen 3000 XT series or anything like that. Next up for today, Intel's locked 12th gen models can actually be overclocked, and it's insane. The story originally comes from the well-known overclocker Der Bauer, where he was able to get the 12400 up to a whopping 5.24 GHz. Now, the key to this is Intel's 12th gen CPUs, which have much more granular control over the clocks. Specifically, they decoupled the BCLK overclock of the motherboard from your PCI Express slot, memory, and CPU, meaning it lets you overclock everything individually. See, up until now, while you could overclock the BCLK on non-K models, it would really mess with the system stability. But that's not the case anymore. And with that, Der Bauer was able to get the 12400 up to 5.24 GHz across all cores. And what's even more wild is that the overclocked 12400 was actually able to beat a 12900K in a couple games. For example, in Far Cry 6 1080p, it loses in average FPS, but it actually crushes in the 1% lows. Then at 4K, it tied on average and still wins at lows. And finally, in Battlefield 2042 at 1080p, it flat wins across the board. Of course, that isn't always the case, but it's still a massive jump. I mean, this is a CPU that's right at $200 against a $600 plus dollar part. That's huge. Now, unfortunately, there is a downside with a potential up. According to Der Bauer, only specific high-end boards he tested allowed him to overclock the BCLK on non-K models. But as Tom's Hardware mentions, Intel should have a synthetic BCLK overclock. 
Of course, when Intel gets word of this, they may start locking things down for non-K models, so time, as always, will tell. And lastly for today, if you've had a tough time picking up one of Nvidia's RTX 3000 cards at a reasonable price, to which is probably everyone, I've got some great news. In a new story from Seeking Alpha, Nvidia's CFO, Colette Kress, was interviewed during the annual Neenum Growth Conference, and she was asked quite a bit about GPU supply, and in her answer, she mentions that Nvidia feels better about supplying the second half of 2022. Of course, that doesn't sound too promising, but she says something later that's really important, and it's the conversation on long-term supply, which has been a big focus from Nvidia. That is to say, Nvidia has been preparing for the future and procuring enough supply to ensure they have enough later on. Don't forget that ramping up supply takes time, so Nvidia has likely been making the necessary arrangements to make sure this doesn't happen again, and those may finally begin bearing fruit soon. It's after this that she reiterated that Q2 position. Here, she stated, quote, In the second half of calendar 22, we believe we'll be in a great position with our overall supply in terms of our estimations of what we will need going forward. That obviously sounds a lot better. The interviewer then asked, quote, You'll be in a quote-unquote great position with respect to supply. And Colette Crest states, no debate. That is correct. Now, what's great about this is that rumors have pointed to a launch of NVIDIA's RTX 4000 cards later this year, meaning if this is right, NVIDIA is likely preparing big supply for that launch. Of course, something could happen before then, but for those hoping to buy a new GPU, you may finally get your chance with the RTX 4000 series of cards. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you excited to finally get a chance to buy a new GPU? Or what do you think about overclocking Intel's non-K models? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.